So we've been waiting for this moment for weeks now. It's the beginning of the Prada Cup final. Ineos Team UK against Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli. So today it was actually really light conditions, marginal foiling and probably not what anyone was really expecting. We were expecting fireworks on the pre-start and in the end what we found was one boat off the foils and late to the start. And a lot of people are probably going to give Ineos a hard time about that. But what they probably don't understand is, is that they actually needed two foiling manoeuvres in that pre-start versus the one for Prada. You can look back at that and say that starb attack entry was probably the wrong choice in hindsight when they got to pick which end because of the light winds. So Luna Rossa just looked fast and smooth and sailing really well in that light winds. They sailed very clean and they handed the first defeat to Ineos in the Prada Cup final. So in race two, we had more action. That was more like what we're expecting to see. We had two boats on the foils. The breeze had come up. Luna Rossa were pushing hard. They were trying to force Ben to be early, but both boats managed to get quite nice starts, very even. And this was the chance we're gonna find out which boat was actually quicker. That line up out of the start, off to that boundary, and you could see really quickly that one boat just had a slight edge in those conditions. And then uh, Luna Rossa tacked away. When they came back together, it was a port starboard situation. Luna Rossa made the cross. Ineos, in fact, actually ducked, and, and they ducked by too far. I think there was a bit of a communication error there in, between Ben and Giles, and they, they ducked by over a boat length. Yours, Ben? Okay, up, 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 hang on. When they came back together next time round, Prado had ex extended their lead, and that lead just extended lap after lap until eventually they won by a decent margin. Yeah, so Prado now lead 2 0, but tomorrow the breeze looks windier once again. We might see a faster boat from Ineos this time, and with the shifts, we're gonna see a lot more tactical racing. You know, it's far from over, and I'm sure both teams will be working hard overnight to put on a good performance tomorrow.